Hey guys, Hani here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another painting tutorial. We are once again trucking along with the Zinch playlist and this time we are adding one of my personal favorite units and that is the Zinch Screamers. Who does not like demonic manta rays flying out um, to absolutely destroy you? And they're uh, basically like blank canvases. They're a lot of fun. You can put a lot of crazy colors on them. And, and I'm going to show you guys how to paint these guys up using only, I think, five paints. Um, I'm getting a pretty nice result for five paints. So you guys could have a whole squad of three or six of these guys painted up in only an hour or two. So sit back and enjoy the video. Okay guys, another video is here showing you how easy it is to get a demon army on the table, even with something that seems as complicated as a Zinch Screamer, and how it can be done in a very short amount of time. After painting the model black and giving it a spray of grey sear, we are going to start with the new contrast Croxagore scales to give it a really nice vibrant turquoise colour uh, to start off this uh, demonic skin. This is an extremely quick color scheme. You can literally paint one of these guys up with, I'd say, less than less than five minutes brushwork for the entire miniature from start to finish. So that means that, excluding drying time, you could literally get a squad of three or a squad of six of these guys done with kind of an hour, an hour and a half spare in the evening time. And getting a whole uh, unit built and painted in that short amount of time has got to feel good for anybody. So. This model is absolutely perfect for things like contrast as it is full of little uh, kind of details, um, little uh, like wrinkles and stuff in the skin, which is absolutely perfect for grabbing that contrast exactly where you want it to. I have a cell like this. So already with one coat of contrast, it is looking fantastic. From here, we are going to move on to another new contrast, the rattling grime color. This is somewhere between a black and a brown, so really, really dark kind of a brownie color, which works really well over all of the uh, extra indents and stuff across his scales. So he's got all of these rough patches and then he has all of the barbs and the horns and all those kind of bits and pieces that we are going to hit with this color. Things like the uh, horns at the front and his shark fin that's on this particular one require two coats of contrast to get a solid coat but all the other parts that we used the uh, Rattling Grime on, uh, it was just a single coat. Even adding the, the color down the length of the fins really does break up the scheme really, really well. As you can see, two contrasts in and it's already looking great. Now it's time to catch a little bit more of those details. And for that, we're going to do a cheeky dry brush. So we're going to use Palette Witch Flesh, any off-white eggshell color you have, and give this model a really light dry brush. Always go against the grain, so up and down motion. This will catch all those raised details and just add a really, uh, really faint highlight to everything. As you can see, it looks really, really good. And um, it really does make uh, all of the detail in the miniature just jump off the model. That's after one light dry brush. Uriel Yellow was used to base coat the eyes. This particular screamer had six eyes. You can only see four here, but he actually has two underneath as well. So make sure you don't miss any of them. And inspect the entire miniature trying to find all of his creepy eyeballs. Yeah, so I just went around with a sharp pointed brush and painted in all of the eyes with Uriel Yellow. And from there we moved on to Abaddon Black. And just like cat eyes, we are just going to draw a line down the middle of the eye to act as its pupil. It's a very quick and very easy step. You don't have to be afraid of painting eyes. We're not going to be painting any craziness. Just one coat of yellow, one line of black down the middle, and then we'll add a little bit of varnish in a moment just to make it shiny. So here's the eyes done. And this is the art coat. You can use any varnish you have, any gloss satin. This is also a luxury step. If you don't have a varnish, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Just sometimes when you catch the light right, uh, you can see that the eyes will be shiny. And we've also finished off by blacking out the flying stand and doing the base of it. And there we have it. One completed Screamer of Zinch, ready to fly across the battlefield and into war. 
these are all the miniatures I've done for my Zinch uh, playlist so far. So if you guys are interested in painting any Zangor, Zangor and Lightning Skyfires, or any horrors, there is a video in the playlist for you. Okay, guys, there we have it. A quick and easy to follow tutorial on how to get uh, screamers onto the tabletop in your Zinch army lists. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Any questions about anything I did in this video or any other video, put in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. And if you'd like to support my channel, the easiest way that you can do that is to subscribe below. If for some reason you're not already subscribed to my channel, take two seconds out of your day and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to uh, support me even further, there's links to things like my Patreon campaign below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.